everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. Today's video is about crackle paint, but we're not going to use any crackled medium. We're just going to use um, PVA glue, which is important for this kind of project. And that's it. No need to buy anything particular. Don't spend your money on these expensive crackle things because you're going to have a perfect result every time. Look at this. This is a papier mache, uh, paper mache box. So you're going to be able to use this technique on cardstock, on pa uh, paper mache. You can use this also on any kind of recycled uh, cardboard, you know, cereal boxes a lot a lot of things you can use this technique and you have you need very very few materials so what you will need is I'm just gonna do this I'm not gonna do the box because you'll understand how to make it it's very quick actually how to to make this box because we're gonna speed up the process of uh, drying so here I'm just using different papers of uh, cardstock leftovers you're gonna be needing two different color of paints whatever your color, uh, your favorite colors are, and it doesn't have to be, uh, I'll tell you that later, but just acrylic paint, not too thick, very uh, liquidy, like these brands. I have uh, Deco Art, uh, you can use any kind of brand as long as it's not too thick, because if it's too thick, and I've used the exact technique, if your paint is maybe too thick or sometimes it's not just being thick, it's just that there is a medium here binder into your acrylic paints that is not gonna work. So if you try this project and it doesn't work, just change maybe the brand of your paint because this one was not that thick, but the binder inside didn't work at all. And I've tried different ones and it really didn't work. So it's really important if you say, well, I'm not, it's not working with me, what am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong, it's just the paint. So I'm just using these paints. I'm gonna use PVA glue. So this is a, um, a French brand, but you can find this brand if you people look uh, watching the video from the UK. I will put a link on the video description where you can find this brand because I love it. If you use Mod Podge, it's gonna work. If you use Elmer's glue, I know this is not a new video, but it's still up to date and I love these crafts because you can embellish things. It's so quick to do. I've done this box not even in 10 minutes. Uh, I talk too much probably. <laughs> I talk more than I do things, but that's a good brand. Um, PVA glue, school, Elmer's school glue also works. You will need two paintbrush, one for the glue, one for uh, your click paints. And what I also recommend is using a heat tool. And I'm just using this one as a craft one. It's a very, uh, very old, but this is a hair dryer. It's not an embossing uh, heat tool because it works better like this for me. And because also I have dried, tried both, this is the cool air coming out. This is just hot air. I've tried with cool air air and it works probably even better than hot air. If you use the hot air, you need to be quite far away because otherwise it's going to cook your paint. It's not going to work as well. And the, uh, the embossing um, heater is too hot. It doesn't work as well for me. So give it a try. Do different experiments on just scrap pieces of cardstock before going directly to your project and see what works best for you. I'm just giving you my tips here. So, now what I'm gonna do, first you're going to apply your first color, but I'm gonna show you, you don't even have to do that. So, here the first color I'm going to apply is green. And this one is really liquidy, and it doesn't matter for the first, um, the first layer here. So I'm doing this very randomly, okay, because it's, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're not going to see the whole green showing up. Now you can already speed up the process of drying by using your hair dryer. Okay, now that this is dry, you can see it's not shiny anymore unless you're using a shiny paint. Uh, you're going to apply your glue. And I have found out that if I work, this glue is quite thick. If I put a lot of glue, it's not going to make things better. It's not helping at all. So the first 
what the, I do first here is just I apply very well my glue onto my paper because I want the, the glue and then the paint to really stick together. And you could help yourself using, you know, these very cheapos uh, paint brushes that are for acrylics. You know, they're white. The tips are white. You can't really see much, but this is the kind of... Um, and you can do that with any kind of paintbrush, actually. But if you want to help maybe the creases and the cracks, not the creases, but the cracks, and it's just an opaque... Um, glue here but it's going to dry clear of course use a glue that dries clear what you can do is if you want to have more cracks you don't have to do this but I like to do these little wiggle lines here and some like this it's just going to help sometimes help your paint crackle okay just a little bit you don't even really have to do it Give it a try. Test different things here. Do you see that? Okay. Now what I'm going to do is use a different color and I'm going to use red. And I'm going to apply that with the same paintbrush. Just cleaning it up. And then I'll show you with another paintbrush the difference. I might do the same example on one sheet. Let's go here. So. Be generous with your um, with your paint, but what is important, you don't have to put a lot actually, but you need to really barely touch your glue. Be very gentle, very, very gentle over your glue so you don't really move the glue that much. And where you put more glue, if it's real, uh, more paint, it's not going to crackle that much. Try not to go over what you have done too much. And now I'm going to use this fan brush just to show you a little bit the difference. All right. And again, I'm going to speed up the process. Just using the cool air. Okay, so this is the effect you get. You've got all the cracks almost going in the same direction, not so many in that direction. And according to how you put your paint on top, I did put paint here in the beginning, but not as much. You're going to see the color from underneath show more. So really have fun, make different kinds of tests, write down on the back what you have done so you can replicate that another time. But I really like the effect that you don't have the same design depending if you use the fan brush, if you use more, um, more glue or more uh, paint here. It's really it's never going to be kind of the same, but if you remember how you did it and the way you like it, it's going to be great. And as you can see, I still have a lot of uh, white spots. It's because my glue here just dried on the surface. It hasn't dried yet completely. So what you see now is going to be different. It's still going to crackle more while the glue is going to dry up. And you can see it's already working there because the cracks here are getting bigger. So I really, really like the fact that sometimes you change paint and it's going to be di completely different. So I'm going to show you another example. And here what I'm going to do, and I'm using this um, yellow color, I am not going to put a coat of paint underneath because if you have a colored paper that you like and you want to only have that color show up, you're not going to have to paint it over. Let me show you. I'm just going to apply directly on this since it's not white. So I have this big ugly paintbrush you can see and it's it works like wonders as well because I'm going to dip it a bit more. I'm going to try to put a bit more. Can you see the strokes here? And that's really going to help. I have better results when I use this kind of paintbrush because it already makes some strokes. 
Hope you'll be able to see that. But if you put more glue, the strokes are going to go away. All right. And now I'm not going to wait. In some tutorials, you'll see people wait for a few minutes for your uh, the glue to dry. I don't do that. And I'm going to apply directly my color on top. And I'm probably going to use red again. Why not? Yeah, I'm going to use red again since I have it there. All right. And again, I'm going to apply it like this. And I like the fan brush because it's a bigger one. I can't put more glue wherever I want. And now, heating process. And here you've got very smooth crackles. It's not as big, but it's really nice too. And you can make big ones like these. I've just shown you before. Look at that. It's just sometimes by using a different paint that it's going to have a total different look. Let me show you this. Again, glue. And I think it works better on cereal boxes. It's just my preference. Look at that. You've got all these marks this side, how that's the way we glide our um, paintbrush, but you also have crackles this way. It's absolutely gorgeous. So give it a try. I'm going to show you another example, another test. It's going to crackle up to this size. And I have used on both examples the exact same uh, white glue. Uh, white glue the exact same paints, colors, and it's still, now it's completely dry, so it's not going to move anywhere. It's going to stay there. It's not going to change its shape. But while here in the core of the glue and the paint, it's not dry, it's going to keep on crackling. You just accelerate the process a little bit on top, but it's still going to move a lot, like to this point. So, very easy. You can paint a whole box doing this. I do it by sections, the top first, one side, and then the other. And you're going to make wonders with these beautiful boxes. Be you could do this on a tin uh, foil um, box, why not, as well. So also on metal, it will work fine as long as you put a acrylic paint, the first coat of acrylic paint first and then your color and it's going to make wonders. Look at this and it looks so natural. You didn't do anything. You could varnish it also. There you go. So here are all examples that I did previously, some with you, some before. Uh, very easy, not new technique, but there are always new um, scrapbookers, DIYers there that want to buy expensive things. I don't really think it's useful. But, I mean, it's just my point of view because you make you can make beautiful things just with glue and paint. Please give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, hit the bell button. And please do share on social medias because it helps my channel to be a little bit more known. Thank you so much. Take care and see you soon.